what is going on guys welcome back to the channel thank you again so much for tuning in today is just gonna be a really quick video again it's nighttime and I actually wanted to do this um, so I want to show you guys how these lights here um, I know some of you guys may be wondering how these things work or I mean how these things look I apologize again I'm on my phone uh, for your license plate please don't mind the dirt I haven't cleaned the car uh, which doesn't make a difference because the car is uh, not in the best uh, paint shop look. All right. But anyway, you've probably seen these on eBay, Amazon, and you're probably wondering how they look. This is how they look. They're actually very, very bright. Um, I like them. They give that, you can see right here on the floor. This is in my car, by the way. This is actually my brother-in-law's car. All right. You can see right here on the floor. They're actually very bright. I definitely like them. Um, I put them on the MDX as well. And also, here's a difference. If you notice, that one right there is an LED, and that one's a halogen. So that's what I've done so far. If you notice it, there's a little difference in the blink. This one has like a direct on and off, and this one does have like a little fade. Like it dims up and off and whatnot. Also, interior wise, I'm gonna open the door. The door it's gonna be that annoying uh, ring, so I apologize. Um, but let me see if I can just roll down the window here. There we go, we get a better look. All right, this is all that LED, um, these are all from Oxbeam. Um, very simple to get these to get these done you just got to obviously take out the cluster and just change them all out there is one in there that's that's uh bigger so it thinks a 194 from what i i remember um so you'll have to look into that to get a 194 these right here if you have big hands like myself super annoying um but you can get it done it's just they're super annoying to get to but they're right behind there. You just got to take off the bottom panel and uh, pretty much just wiggle your way in there. Have patience to get those in. And the last light. There we go. Damn. Whew. See how bright that is? Now I can see everything. I can also see if somebody uh, isn't sitting in the backseat of my car. All right. The next thing I'm gonna do, which I actually am waiting for the headlights to show up, I ordered them online. Um, I have switchbacks for the headlights. So if you don't know what switchbacks are, um, how these are right now, how you'll see them, they're amber. Um, and then when they blink, they're amber as well. Switchbacks, however, they're white, and then they'll switch to amber when I'm signaling. Um, I think these are the ones that once you hit the signal to, to turn, uh, they'll turn amber and they'll just continue turning amber. They won't show any white until you stop. Um, so obviously the, the switch is turned back. So um, I think that's how it is. I don't know. The rear one right here, I needed a resistor. All right, because when I tried to, when I put that in initially, it was a hyper flashing. So I needed to get a resistor. And fortunately, the resistor that sent me, um, they said it's for this car, but the connector didn't fit. So I think it's a fault on their end. I wound up just cutting it and splicing it. Um, I'm not keeping these headlights, by the way. because I just realized that has a crack in it. I'm not keeping these headlights, by the way. I bought, I bought I'm sorry, taillights. I, uh, I already purchased taillights. Um, and they'll be showing up here next, next week as well. So these will be gone. I'm gonna do the, which pretty much everybody does, the, they're called the 50-50. So they're white on the bottom, they're red on top. Also, I have the lights right now for these. These are all, all of this is gonna be LED. Even the reverse lights are gonna be that bright white LED. Um, but I just wanted to make this video real quick for you guys to see, to show you where I'm at um, in the car. Really haven't done anything major, but I do wanna share um, what I've been doing so that you guys uh, can also see. All right, let me turn this off. 
turns off, on, very nice. All right, turn this off. That is annoying as hell, seriously. Okay. Then obviously, no power locks, no power windows. So, I gotta change out this part too right here. It's, it's dark right now, you can't see it, but it's really cracked. I actually changed out this right here. This was definitely all cracked and nasty. I just bought um, and changed out the wiper. I know it's dark, I apologize. I can't find that one. So somebody please in the comment section, tell me where I can find this wiper arm. Leave a link down below. I really, really appreciate it. This time I'm asking you guys for help. I cannot find this wiper arm. I found this one, a bunch of them, from Dorman, but I cannot find that one. Um, I actually like, there's like a little, I don't know if you guys can see it, I really, maybe if I turn on the light, there we go. Okay. There's like this little wing. I've never seen this before, but I like it. I like it. So, all right. So please, somebody, tell me where I can find this wiper arm. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, you guys will be definitely helping me a, a lot my, minus the headaches and whatnot so yep that's where we are with the car haven't done anything else um i have a grill that i painted but obviously i didn't want it to come out perfect which is not um, i wanted it to kind of fit the way the car looks right now uh, eventually i'll take it to a body shop and have them take out the dents and take out the um those scratches and obviously repaint it red i'm not going to change the color of the car i chose wheels already i really um, i like them i'm gonna go with a white and red theme. Um, if I, holy crap. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, cool. All right. It's like a dunk car, right? Is it cool? All right, hey. Is what it is. Um, again, sorry for the video. Sorry for the editing. I did not want to do that. Um, I just want to send out something to you guys. I know it's been a while and I haven't been uh, sending out anything, but I definitely want to go ahead and uh, start sending all that stuff out to you guys and show you where I'm at. I don't want to um, do anything else like that or, you know, kind of leave you in the dark. Uh, damn it. You can't see it by now. Maybe you can. If you can't see it. Hold on. <laughs> all right you can't see it all right no problem um i had an eight inch rockford sub rockford falls gate speaker and i wound up getting a small box which i already had them but i wound up let me see if you can see it here uh no you can't okay um and because my rear speakers weren't working so the rear speakers weren't working i wound up just going ahead and uh putting that speaker in just running a wire to it i like it um i don't really put my family in this car so it's fine uh I, in reality in the future i want to take out the back seat take out the back panel and delete it um because i do want to put a cage in here in the future so it just makes sense for me to do that now i really don't care i'm not going to even look into why these uh speakers aren't working it's both of them so I mean, again, if you know, leave a comment down below. I'd really, really appreciate it. And that's that. All right, guys. Until then, take care, and I will see you soon.